Hi everyone, my name is Jenny and I'm a CA over at Manzanita Hall and today I'm going to be here talking to you about HIV treatment. And so looking around the room, I see that um, I am pretty much surrounded by uh, most everyone here is um, opposite gender of me. And so I'd like to thank you again just for having me here and taking some time in your day to listen to me and I really hope that you can get something um, important out of this presentation. And so we're going to be talking for around seven minutes. Um, I want it to be a comfortable and safe space for everyone, but I do want to remind everyone that not everything you share here will be kept confidential. It will be kept, kept confidential for myself, but I can't guarantee that for everyone else, so just keep that in mind. Um, and with that, let's get started. So I'd like to talk to you about HIV treatment. And one of the things I want to emphasize first is that there is no cure anywhere in the world for HIV, but it is 100% preventable. And for um, HIV treatment, um, those who do test positive for HIV have access to treatment, and this will help them live a long and healthy life. But the only way to get access to this treatment is to get tested. Um, so starting with that, let's talk about um, treatment. So I want to I want to differentiate that it is it's got two important parts to it. Um, the first part is that it is life-saving treatment and the second part is that it helps prevent transmission. And so what is the treatment? The treatment is called um, ARV or it is um, the, the longer name for it is antiretrovirals but we call it ARV for short and this um, treatment basically reduces what we call the viral load or the amount of a virus within one's body and when it is low enough to what we can call undetectable so we cannot detect it in the blood that means that the virus and the HIV positive person is unable to transmit the virus and that is what we want we want the person to um, be on the treatment for um, life-saving treatment so basically HIV can no longer um, progress towards AIDS but also that they keep their loved ones safe and so um, not being able to transmit the virus would keep their loved ones safe so that's what I wanted to emphasize there um, those who do test positive for HIV will have access to this treatment but again they need to get tested know their status in order to get access to this treatment. And this is only if they are HIV positive. Um, the earlier they get it, the better. The early, earlier they start the treatment, the better. Um, it'll prevent any unnecessary damage to the immune system. And just the sooner that they are on it, the sooner that they are unable to transmit the disease. Um, when we're talking about this treatment, it is important to know how it is used. So it is taken once a day, um, every day for the rest of their life, um, taken around the same time every day. And it is very important that anyone who uses ARVs take it at the exact same time every day, just because even missing a day or being late by a few hours, um, this will allow the virus to con to start replicating again, and this will increase the viral load and make them um, able to transmit the virus, and that's what we don't want. Um, with treatment, we always talk about side effects, and side effects can vary from person to person, um, but it is important to still go on the treatment just because the benefits really outweigh the uh, side effects. Um, taking this treatment for an HIV positive person allows them to live a long and healthy life while also keeping their loved ones safe and that just trumps over any um, possible side effects that there are but it is important to consult with the physician about that. So everything I've just talked about so far was basically about treatment and stopping the um, HIV transmission cycle. So again, we want to uh, emphasize that it's getting tested and knowing one status will allow them to have access to treatment if needed and that will help break the cycle of transmission. But so everything I just talked about was for an HIV positive person. Um, so ARVs for someone who's HIV positive. I do want to touch base on what an HIV negative person can do to protect themselves. And so we have something called PEP and PrEP. 
um, PEP is post-exposure prophylaxis, and it is a medicine that is taken in an emergency case. So it is right after exposure to HIV. Um, it can be during sex without a condom or sharing of needles, stuff like that. But basically it is exposure with an HIV positive person to an HIV negative person. So the HIV negative person would take this medication, um, this medicine, and it's basically within 72 hours of exposure. They need to take it for 28 days, twice a day. Um, and this is not a cure. This is not um, take like an everyday supplement or anything like that. This is just in an emergency case for those who are interested in taking it for like an everyday thing just to prevent HIV transmission. Um, that would be pre-exposure prophylaxis. Um, remember to consult with a doctor about this, but this is also taken like every day um, for the duration of wanting to be safe against HIV. And this is for someone who is at high risk of contracting HIV. Um, again, remember to consult with a doctor, healthcare provider about this. But so I just want to emphasize again, PEP and PrEP, post-exposure prophylaxis and pre-exposure prophylaxis are for HIV negative people and ARV treatment is for HIV positive people. And again, in order to get access to um, ARV treatment, it is important to um, know one status by getting tested and then that will help them get access to the life-saving treatment and help break the um, HIV transmission cycle. So thank you so much for having me here today. If you have any questions, please let me know at the end of this and I can drop my email in the chat. Um, thank you so much for your time.